Of course, you know the temperatures are going up and that means more humans and dogs are spending time outdoors. Officials over in San Juan County, though, say they're already reporting more dog bites. Jacqueline Otagon has more on several dogs now in quarantine, plus a warning for dog owners. There are more animal bites right now and it is increasing. And because of that, the Aztec Animal Shelter is now home to seven dogs in quarantine. You are looking at the reasons why. The San Juan County Sheriff's Office has this warning for dog owners if their furry friends aren't being so friendly. Uh, we have an ordinance that if an animal bites a person, a dog bites a person and it breaks the skin or draws blood, uh, that there's going to be a 10 day quarantine. And that's where the Aztec Animal Shelter comes in. Where it's held for the 10 days for observation, just to make sure the dog doesn't have rabies. It's also important to remember kids are out of school and playing outdoors. <laughs> they see a dog and they might want to go pet the dog because they're innocent. They love animals. We all do. Uh, so we don't want a child to go over to pet an animal and as doing so getting bit by that animal. Lieutenant Andrew Gilbert says all they're asking for is for dog Dog owners to be responsible. That means you keep your animal on a tether in your yard or you have adequate fencing around your yard in order to contain your dog within it. Remember, the 10 day quarantine will happen regardless if the bite happens on your property and regardless of your dog's vaccination status. You will only be charged if your dog escapes your property and bites someone. You know, I know some people might not like that as far as the impoundment of the animal for 10 days, but the whole goal of that is to make sure that the animal's safe. So if we can come back to safety for our animals and for our citizens, that's what's really important. Here. In Farmington, Jacqueline Aragon, KOB4.